Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome you all back to another part of my Lisa series. In the last part, we started off this very, very not so happy and not so cheerful adventure. Uh, if you have not watched that and for some reason are watching this out of order, I do recommend, of course, that you watch the first part before anything else. So you are informed as to where we are, what's going on, and all that sort of stuff. Currently, we only have Brad and Terry, and uh, that's kind of it, really. We do have a couple bits of healing items, but at the moment, it, it would feel a bit wasteful if I were to use them, you know? So, whatever. Enough stalling, I'm going to just go on over to the right. There's nowhere else I can really go. Oh, they're dead. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, what the- You suffered serious da- What? But I couldn't do anything! Okay, whatever. So time is a great teacher. The hell? Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Uh, oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Are you serious? Howdy, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Our paths have crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do, fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally you'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now, but... I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your sh or your yellow shirt friend's life, or... All of your belongings. Choose wisely. What will you give us? Now, you're probably thinking... Oh, like, if, if you're new to Lisa, you're probably like, oh, fucking all your belongings, right? Or, no, 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 Terry's life, right? You know, you don't need him. Terry's fucking useless. So, I had had, I have had a couple people in the comments of the last part actually tell me, Terry ends up having one of the strongest moves. I, actually, no, 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 scratch that. Terry ends up having, like, the strongest move in the whole game. Keep in mind, he's not, you know, I've been told he's apparently not the best partner in the world, but... The fact that he can end up having the strongest move in the whole goddamn game is probably more than enough of a reason to keep him. Had to take a drink of water there, but alright. Well, you give us, uh, fucking all our belongings, I guess. Hmm, how boring. Alright, boys, strip him quickly. I hear tale that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Oh, God, off we go. Come on, man. Ugh, no. All of your stuff has been taken. Terry, you fuck, get up. Ugh. My head. Whoa, you look like hell. Are you okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn, first my hamstring, now this. You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Terry Hints... ...joined you... ...again! <laughs> Can we go over to the left? Yes, that is where we got fucking run over. Okay. So now we have literally nothing. Oh man. All right, we still have, you know, our weapons and everything, but now we have no healing items, no nothing! So we just have to hope that we end up getting stuff, I guess. Oh! Well, that's pleasant! Oh, what- what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, then. That was, uh... It's a little weird, but you know what? We're fine, we'll just continue on here. Is there anything over to the right? Oh, there is! Hello! Hello. Seems like a storm is brewing round here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of me soup. Also, if you need rest, you can use my tent. Hmm. It seems very tempting, I will admit. But at the same time, I'm very skeptical of this guy, you know? Up until now, we have not been taught to really- Whoa! Holy heck! Okay, then. Oh! The world can be saved! Find her! Status effects. Oh, whoa! That is a Whoa! That is a lot of status effects! Okay. I actually kind of want to read through them. 
So scared stops you in your tracks. Wary, slightly increased de or defense. Weird reduces defense and attack. Stun knocks you out temporarily. Cry obscures your vision. Rage increases critical hit rate. Pissed makes you go berserk. Drunk strong but slower and dumb. Hangover reduces everything. Stink makes people avoid you. Cool regenerates HP. It's <laughs> a good one. Uh, depression makes life suck. Oh no. Oiled up makes you flammable. Withdrawal makes you all or hurts you all over. Enjoyed makes you b okay. It's a little weird, but I'm gonna save with our little crow here so we can actually try and see if this uh, tent guy is any good. If he's actually uh, someone worth trusting. Rest here, yes. Was it worth it? I guess it was. Okay, this guy is actually worth trusting. What a surprise! I thought he was just gonna be a fucking scumbag who was just gonna kill us or rob us or something. Uh, uh, the, the latter of the two, rather. Alright, let's look around and see what's going on. Hmm. Okay. The hell is with these trees? What? This place is. Okay, that was. What? Can I not get up there then? I guess not. Okay. I guess we'll just continue back on to the right and then see what the hell awaits us. Could be good, could be really bad. I don't know, we just gotta wait and see, so, uh... Oh, Jesus! Okay, I, I'll admit that. <laughs> that kinda scared me a little bit. Uh, here, oh, surprise attack. Uh... DDA, okay, so let's try that, shall we? Terry, you just, uh... Give a fucking... Little cheer, why don't you? Alright, so, D DDA was it? I think it was DDA. Yes, it is. Surprise attack. Not bad, okay. Uh, let's see... Let's... Hmm... Let's give a verbal bash in hopes that that does something. Oh god, he's pissed. That's not good. Come on, be enough to take him down. Please, Brad! No, the last one missed! Alright. I will admit, this game has some nice music. That's for sure. More verbal, verbal bash in hopes that it's useful. It, it was just a complete miss, so that's not too useful at all. Alright, come on. How? Come on, last one keeps missing. No! Alright, what was the other one? WWS. Alright, let's hope that that's gonna be enough. Nice two damage, Terry. Come on. My intestines are in disarray. Yay, he's dead. <laughs> Terry the Hinster is moving on up. Terry's sick drops? I was very confused what that meant for a second, but okay. Whoa, this guy is messed up over here. Hello? He's full of holes. The fuck? These guys are uh, all pretty badly messed up, really. Hmm. <clears throat> now, what I will admit sucks is the fact that, you know, we lost all our items, so now we just have to sort of deal with whatever's going on. See the red skulls? It means Rando's army has taken over. Which sucks. Cause the only gasoline within... Miles is in there? How the hell am I gonna make fire bombs? What do you gotta say, buddy? He's dead. Okay, you're, so you're not saying anything. Shit, man. Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna check above before I go in those, uh... Those little openings. The let's find her thing... Also is a little bit on the, not creepy side, more so unsettling, I suppose. The hell is in here? Oh! Hello, rooster man? Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this. Oh, okay, man. Oh. <laughs> I love how he only, like, points you out after you st- oh, Okay. Okay, whatever. Little bit of damage, whatever, whatever, we'll live. Little bit of damage, whatever, whatever, we'll live. Oh, man, I want to get this. Whatever the hell this is. How was that? Oh, it's an empty bottle. We can get some fucking soup. Whoa! What? Are, what's in here? Oh, this goes over here. Oh? I'm not gonna go over there just yet. That, uh... Looks like it could end badly. Here's what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna get all healed up. 
Then, I'm gonna get some of the soup from the guy. Then, I'm gonna save. Then, I'm gonna check what's going on in the, the little openings. Could end great, could end horribly. More than likely the latter of the two. Just gotta wait and see, I suppose. But alright. Hello, buddy, I have an empty bottle. Mind hooking me up. Okay, yeah, 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 empty bottle. Take some soup, yes. Bottle of soup. How much does it heal? 500 HP, hey! That could be very useful. So, alright, let's, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. Okay, maybe I made the right choice with that. Oh, I'm going back. That place did not look good either. Okay. Uh, what about these other ones? Oh, wait, wait, did I... I almost forgot to save. Jesus Christ. Could have been terrible. Alright. Door number one is... A weird place with rope. Very unsettling. Very, very unsettling, I must say. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. There's this over here. Taking a bit of damage, but it is... Secret Stash 10 magazines! Whoa! If I'm not mistaken, magazines is our currency in this game. Which, yes, it is very weird, as a matter of fact, but... It's just how it is, I guess. What the hell is up there? How do we get up there? There's a lot of places we can go through, I realize. Hmm... This place seems the, the most normal out of the places uh, we've seen so far, so I'm just gonna wander around and see what awaits us around here. Oh, hello! Hello, friend. You seem... You seem cool. But what's in here first? Well, at least... <laughs> okay, okay, then. There's nothing else to this place, I guess. Hello. And you are? Oh, hello there! My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olaf and what happened. Many tales, would you like to hear? Uh, boring! Gr what, great? Get comfy my po- what? I've many a tale to tell. Let's see. All right, it all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Or wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle? Well, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put it ice in the glass? But then making tea homemade would be just as time-consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. <laughs> anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet treats, uh, sweet lemon tea from a glass, of course, ho-ho. When suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yep, it was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and wrecking, or realized that a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock underneath my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. Ho ho! I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. And uh, as I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbors at the time, Tom Fortnite, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight, played burger. Yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What was the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, cr <laughs> crawled into bed with me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break, as if I already don't feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay ay ay. At this point, I had already suppressed the urge of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Oh no. 
I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Once upon a hot summer time. <laughs> no! Some, sometime in July. Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks maybe? I don't know. I want to get off. T I don't want to get off topic. Point is the eggs were, or the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my, my, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner House. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So, at this barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her, so I'd made po potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow. Ho ho. So I sat at the TV room avoiding her till uh, the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure my distance or to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her. So I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with or to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with ripped cream. The nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple of choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Can we... Please. 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 No more. No more. No more. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. No! No! Are you kidding me? Well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. Well, uh, what? Are you following me or something? Ho <laughs> ho! Anyway. I often wonder what all happened here. Was it that big flash? Why are we here? We, even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And those clouds, so strange. What happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real no, a real... Oh, kooky. I was like, what the fuck is that? Real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally, I don't indulge in adolescence publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. Don't say it like that. Dude, that's, that's, that's really fucking weird. So I'm reading the magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman, but as I'm reading, I noticed something on the ceiling. I look up to see if there was some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort. And his, assume, and his assumably big house and hard body wifed. I wish my wife looked like that. Big ol' melons. Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. You are not making yourself sound any better. Uh, the child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at, at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly started directly at, or quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kind of socks. Okay. Golly, I am revved up after all these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you are a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. Uh, nerd. <laughs> <sighs> at least he shut up. At least he shut up. I'm looking over at my audio file, and the difference... The difference in, like... The amount of shit said between everything up until Nern's part is ridiculous. Anyway. Hello. Smooth. Ugh. Jesse. Uh, okay. A bit of a weird fellow, but I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, wait. No, I don't, I don't need to hop down to grab the little sack. Just jump on over here. Or maybe I do actually. Wait. Fuck. God damn it. How- game, how dare you make me think that I actually am going to do something right for once. Okay, so I can't- what the fuck? I can't jump from there. Okay. Alright, whatever. What is this? A little marking, I guess. Nothing more, nothing less. Hey, a bar? Bars. You can often find people for hire in bars. If you see a pink poster, you can access your party information. For when you want to swap a party member in and out. Bars are great places. Chug a lug and Terry. Okay. I'll check it out in a bit. I just want to run around and see if there's anything else of importance or use around here. You never know, really. Hey, empty bottles. That could be useful. All right. I say we head back a bit before we head into the bar. So we can not only grab some soup, but of course, you know, save up. Maybe check out what the other exits have for us. 
Oh god, what the fuck? Where did this guy come from? Alright. So DDA, I just need to remember sometimes. Terry, you... Little cheer, verbal bash, inform. Hmm, increases SP. Hey, may as well. Actually, I don't need it right now, so just little cheer. Why not? Nern, what can you shoot? Topics? Increases TP of one ally's power. You have okay, so just shoot, I guess. Wait, what the fuck? Terry shoots? DDA. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I like the fact that we already have a decent amount of party members, honestly. Here I was thinking that maybe we're just we just weren't gonna get too many at this point in time, but no, it's we have a pretty decent amount. Terry with his Oh, 16 damage. Whoa, Terry. I see you, I see you, buddy. Plus, we got a nice little stun there. All right, Nern, I see you doing work. Okay, okay, things are going a bit better, I will say. Holy shit, Terry! Okay, no, I messed up, so may as well just fucking take him out then. All right. Should be enough to take him out, or so I would imagine. Or not. Okay, oh shit, Terry's bleeding! All right, let's see, um... Hmm... All right, let's use that on... Okay, let's just keep going here. Almost pressed the wrong thing. Come on, man. Why do you have so much health? Oh my god, that is a lot of damage he did to us. All right, Terry, you're just gonna have to go for some regular old attacks. Nern, I'm sorry, you're bleeding. I want to help you, but I can't really do too much at the moment. There we go. I did it all for the nookie. Well, you're dead now, so it doesn't even matter. Got a nice little level up on Nern there. That's one for the books. Got some mags as well, okay. Nern stopped bleeding. Hey, that's good! I, I was kind of afraid that that effect wouldn't go away, but, uh... Quite fortunate, I will say. Like I said, I was very much so afraid that it was just simply going to go terribly for us. But no, we're fine. We're perfectly good. Apologies if you notice a random tiny little lag spike there. For some reason, it just happened. No clue why, but we're good. We're good, people. Now, I still have the empty bottles, right? Yes, indeed I do. May as well, like I said, fill them up. Take some soup. Yes, yes, yes. And let's also get rested up, shall we? It's quite, it's quite nice that we now have three party members. Like, we're not even too far into this game. I can't say I expected to have this many party members at this point in time. Kind of reminds me of uh, Paper Mario, just the uh, Paper Mario N64, where you have like fucking... Three million goddamn party members by like second or third chapter, like it's crazy. All right, so we already checked door number one. We already checked that. What's behind here? Hmm. Hmm. Where the hell does this lead? Oh. Hello. The girl is just up ahead. She's in. She's in an old clubhouse. But those pretty boy pricks kicked me out. So now I'm gonna kick out or kick the pretty boy out of you, prick. Hey, what? We didn't do anything. You fucking Steve Harvey looking motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a verbal bash and hope that in hopes that it's useful. Although it more than likely won't be. Had no effect. Alright, wonderful. He's astounded by our stupidity. Hey! No damage. Come on now, Nern. I know you're better than that. All right, Terry, yet again, go for your verbal bash in hopes that it works. Come on, still nothing, come on! I'll admit, he did a bit more damage than I was expecting on Terry. I'm going to have to, uh, do some about that. Uh, Terry, can- can you fucking heal yourself, Terry? I- I would assume so. That is a yes. Oh no, Terry's bleeding! Come on. All right, so let's be let's be very careful here. Terry's uh, I'm gonna have Terry put his guard up because Terry's not the one really. Terry's not really doing too much damage, so I'm not going to worry too much about it, you know. Nern piling on a nice little bit of extra damage. Come on, and again, Terry, I'm gonna want you to block so you're not taking too much damage or anything. Luckily, that attack missed. Handful, handful more of a uh, handful of attacks should hopefully. Finish off a uh, good old- what, what's his name? Booker Clinton. Also, the bleeding effect went off, so that's wonderful. Nice little 16 bit of damage. See, like, I suppose the one thing that really sucks is 
no one's really near to the amount of damage that Brad's putting on. Which, like I said, it really fucking sucks. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? He can just heal himself? Alright. Um... Terry, I'm gonna need you to be on guard, and Nern, I'm gonna need you to... Use a bottle of soup on Terry. Ooh, you would fucking attack Nern. Oh my god, you asshole. Got an empty bottle. Oh, so we're just gonna be able to reuse that. Oh, that's fucking great. Harold was kind of afraid that we wouldn't be able to get any use out of it afterwards, but no, we can actually fucking use it, like... Dude, that's great. Alright, oh, nope. Now he's focusing Brad. Alright, we gotta be a little bit careful, and I am a bit concerned that Nern is bleeding, but this fight should be over relatively quick. Or so I would hope. Yeah, the bleeding went away, so now we're good to go. Just gotta do- Oh, for fuck's sake, right as I say that. Come on, Brad, you can do this, just finish him off. There we go. I'm unsinkable, like the Titanic. You're an asshole, is what you are. Hey! <gasps> we got a new skill! Oh, <gasps> Terry got a new skill! Nern got a new skill! Well then. Okay, bunch of cool shit going on now. There's all these areas that we could go- Oh, you can go left there. <laughs> There's all these areas we can go through and... I'll admit, I'm a little scared to progress through any of them, really. Uh, if I'm perfectly honest, I would like for you guys in the comment section to... I guess guide me in a sense, not tell me exactly what to do, but be like, yeah, it's probably a bit better to, you know, go this place or something, or do something along those lines, is what I'm trying to get at. Not along the lines of backseat gaming, more so along the lines as a, uh, not even a, oh, fuck. What? What? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Okay, dude, dude, you okay? He's knocked out cold. Can we still get soup? No, we can't! Ah, fuck. Oh, shit just got bad. All right. Door number four. What awaits us here? Oh, shit. Um. Hello? Anybody here? What the fuck? What the f- what? Alright, how much- WSD, okay, um... Shadowy figure... Terry, you, uh... I'm a little scared as to what to do. Um, verbal bash, Nern? How about you just shoot? So WSD is Brad's. Alright, you're luckily not doing too much damage. WSD... Hey, that- oh my god, the amount- the amount of damage the fireball itself actually does, holy shit. Oh. Well, that was a really quick- <laughs> my sweet wife, god rest her soul. <laughs> the hell? That was, uh... It's a little weird- that was a little weird, I'll admit. I thought there was, uh... What the fuck? Okay, so we're finding another one of these. Luckily, these shadowy figures really aren't doing too much damage. And now with this fireball attack, we're actually able to do a crazy amount of damage to a lot of enemies, it seems. Okay, whoa, like, look at that! So fucking quick and easy to take down. Alright, what's through here? Oh? Bring her to Rando, and he will give you the world. Hmm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I might regret this, but... Hello? I don't like how these guys are just eyeing me. Yo. Oh, fuck. Where you going? Get over here. Hey, Porky, leave him alone. Rano doesn't want us starting shit for no reason. I said, get over here now. Yo. Where you- Oh, come on. All right, fine. We'll fucking- What do you, what do you want? What, what the fuck do you want? Got any business here? Uh... <laughs> I'm looking for someone. I'm just passing by. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm re I really am, but at the same time, I'm afraid I'll have to fight all of them, so... Um, I'm just passing by. Just get out of here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What the hell? 
Buddy, what is wrong with your legs? You deaf? This place ain't for schoolboys. You done fucked up. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Um. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We got Porky Roy, Mystic Pete, Oak Tree Steve, Hoops Jardine, and Lance Gravies. Yeah, I feel like I did indeed fuck up, though, if I'm perfectly honest. Um. Uh, Nern, what can you do? Let's see. Nern, just, just fucking, just, just, I'm very afraid of Oak Tree Steve, honestly, so let's just... Oh dear. He's crying and pissed, okay, good sign, good sign. Oh, fuck. Let's see. Is Oak Tree Steve difficult to take down, is he scary? Oh my god! Terry is nearly dead! That's a good sign, that's a very, <laughs> that's a very good sign, you know? Uh, fuck. Uh, Terry, just drink up a bottle of soup. Actually, wait, wait, I'm pretty sure Nern is faster. So, uh, Terry, just go for verbal bash. Just keep going for that, I suppose. And Nern, try and heal up good old Terry. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, don't kill Terry, don't kill Terry! Come on, heal up Terry. Nern, please! There we go. Got an empty bottle, cool, cool, cool. Oak Tree Steve is astounded by our stupidity. Hey, man, go fuck yourself. That's why we're gonna kill you in, like, two seconds. WSD. Oh, dear. I feel like I did indeed make quite the grave mistake, but, uh... Oh, well, now we, now we have to live with it. Okay, one of them's down. This is po this may be possible. This may legitimately be possible. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Hey, oh, we're fucking doing it. Oh, shit. Nern is dead. Nern, no. Terry, uh, I'm gonna need you to just simply use your bottle of soup. You can't do much else. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, dear. See, like, the only one that's really doing that much damage is fucking... Oak Tree Steve. He is our biggest issue right now. Um... Yet again, Armstrong style. Terry, I, I want you to use that to heal a good old Brad, because Brad is our biggest damage dealer right now. Ooh, dear. He's raging. He's angry. He's pissed. Ooh, Terry's burning. It's not good. Yes! Okay. Terry, you just need to live. Terry, you just need to goddamn live, like, two seconds. All right. So I'm gonna focus these guys while Terry uses, uh, the jerky to heal himself up. It might not be the best thing in the world, but it's enough to heal him up, so I'm not too worried, you know? Ooh, dear. Brad is taking a lot of damage, and I am quite afraid as to how that's gonna turn out, but we're so close. We're so goddamn close. Let me not get too reckless, though. Ooh, dear. I think this might be enough. Please? Ah, oh, fuck. Terry, my boy, no, you were not- it was not enough. Alright. That was, though. Oh. Alright. Okay. They're fucking dead. Cool, cool, cool. Sadly, now I have to, uh... Revive Nern. Oh, boy. Brad stopped bleeding. Cool, cool, cool. That's wonderful, but... Now I don't have a place to heat. Now- Oh, fuck. Where do I heal? Ah, uh, sh shit. Was this a mistake? Uh, it's looking like it. Oh, Terry stopped bleeding. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, fuck. Alright, let's see. What's on up here? A suspicious place! Wonderful, that's what I like to see. God damn it, man. I wanna- I wanna see, like... An area I can maybe heal up. Come on. Maybe that's asking too much from this game. I know, I know. But whatever. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna head back. Because this place is not looking like the place I really want to be at this point. Yes, I did manage to defeat those guys, but... Ooh, man. It was not a fight that I should have picked, if I'm perfectly honest. Ooh, dear. Tr truth be told, I'm very surprised that I managed to even take them down to begin with, but... Yeah, it's looking like this place is not the place that I want to be dealing with right now. Oh, boy. Poor old Brad's, like, super beat up now as a result as well. Like, that's wonderful. Uh, whoops, wrong move. Whoopsie. 
Okay, I almost forgot for a second there. There we go. Alright, let's just head on back. Hopefully be able to rest up. And head into an area that might not be as bad, you know? Now, if I'm not mistaken, we encounter like one more before we leave. Yep, there it is. Alright. The fuck? The shadowy figure stroked us. It's a little weird. Oh, I just realized I can't use the special moves. Oh, okay, that's... Huh, can't say I realized that. Okay. So it's like, you can get off the moves and everything, but if you don't have the SP to use it, you can't actually- you cannot actually use it. Okay. Good to know, I suppose. Can't say I realize that. Uh, let's check back our little campsite and see, uh, if we can legitimately heal or not. I would hope so. I would also hope that we do not get robbed or anything of that sort. Can I- Okay. Rest here? Yes, please. Please don't let us get beat up. Please don't let us get robbed. Okay, no. We live to tell the tale of fucking resting for once. Oh, man. Alright. I guess we'll just, uh... Save on up here. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, guys. So, next time, we will be hopefully tackling an area that's not difficult. I don't know. I'm gonna personally just check up on what's the recommended area to go through or whatever. All that wonderful stuff. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this part. If you have, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye.